Darren, what are your emotions at the moment? It's just one of complete disappointment. Um, terrible day for the football club to, to be relegated into League Two and uh, been a terrible season. You accept your relegation despite the mathematics? Well, listen, you're not making 12 goals up. I think it's 12. Um, of course, it's still mathematically possible. But, uh, I think you're obviously... You know, you, you kind of know your own fate, and today, in many ways, summed up what I feel has been a, a problem in the sense of small little things that happen in games affect us too much. It's been a consistent thing for me. We've not been strong enough mentally to cope with things that go against us within games and over a, a period of time. So you're not not just disappointed in the outcome, but in the manner of it today. No, I'm not. Listen, when you lose any game, but we're complete control of the game. It should be more than 1-0 up. Make a mistake and make it 1-0. And I think that affected us too much. And when it shouldn't have, it was just a really small matter. We still had 45, 50 minutes to win the game. So uh, that's been the standout for me. If, if you were to ask me whether the problems have been mentally, we've not been strong enough to cope with adverse situations. Second half as well, did you feel that your defend, defending left something to be desired? Oh, I think we're chasing the game. We have to win it. And... Uh, I think we were unlucky that Roy's won the ball and the referee's given a foul, but then a couple of deflections. I'd have to see the, the second goal again, the third goal's on the counter and we're just chasing it. We actually started the second half really well, strongly. Um, went into the game in good spirits. But you can't, you know, I've just said to my players, I, I can't come out to you guys and or when I'm, I'm speaking to my fans and make any excuses. There's none that I can make. It's just simply not been anywhere near good enough. I've got to learn from... Uh, certain things that have happened this season and I've got to be ready to go again next season which I will be it's a big challenge but you know the fans are have come out I think the fans have been great I think they and I made sure the players went over to them because the easy thing to do is do the cowardly thing and they're going to have a go at you quite rightly you have to accept that but um, we've got to make sure this time next year we're back in League One You're obviously questioning the players but also no, questioning, questioning yourself, the I'm yourself. Questioning the players. I'm not, What I'm saying to you is we all have to take our responsibility uh, I'm saying there's no excuses can be made. I can't come on here and make or come here and make any excuses. And I'm not going to offer any. It's simply not been good enough. As myself as a manager, the players, we've lost too many games. But I see a clear pattern. And you know, if I was to be asked why, I think I've got clear idea of why, and I have to fix it. There's been a big turnover of managers in your league this season. I think 16 have, have gone, but. The, the vibe from your club seems to be that you're going to be there next season. Are you confident about that? Yeah, yeah, we've had good discussions. Uh, and obviously, we didn't expect to go into League Two. We've had a right go at the end, but it's not been enough. And over the course of the season, it's not been enough. But uh, no, we've had good discussions and I'll, I'll be ready for the challenge. At the end of the day, and you know, I've come in and we've started off brilliantly. And the expectations went up and then we, we had that horrendous run that we just managed to get out of when we beat Wigan and that gave us a bit of hope and everyone a bit of hope. But it wasn't about getting beat really by crew today. It was over the course of the season. But no, the board have been great and uh, it's a really good football club. Um, never never going to change my mind on that. We have a clear vision about what we're going to do now, but obviously it's going to take longer. But uh, I maintain that we've, we've got to make sure that we're in, we're in League One next season. I've got to sh sort out the recruitment. Um, that's a massive thing. We've we've got to make sure we bring the right players in. And I think given time, the players that I've brought in have made a big difference. I think the recruitment before that's been absolutely horrendous. What degree of change do you anticipate in the summer? Big changes in terms of there'll be players that uh, I, I won't feel are, are going to fit into what I want to do. There'll be ones that we'll obviously try and bring in. Uh, but the main thing is, and it's one of the most important things I know, I've got to make sure the recruitment's right. It affects, obviously, the quality of player you're going to get because a lot of the, the targets won't want to drop into League Two, so you have that to deal with. But, uh, you know, it's going to be, a I feel like a long, long summer until we get back, you know, into the swing of things and try and get out of League Two. Donkers is going to be a big club at a League Two level, aren't they? Yeah, and there's been a lot of big clubs drop into that league. Uh, I think this league... Uh, League Two this season has probably been the most competitive I've, I've seen it for a while. You know, Luton, Oxford, um, Plymouth, Portsmouth, big, big clubs. And we're going to be uh, a big scalp. But 
got another league game next week, you know, on Sunday. We can't forget about that. And uh, I've got to try and pick the right team in the sense of who I can see being here next season. And you've got a track record of promotion from that league too, which must, must help. Well, in League One, I've had two promotions and one playoffs. I mean, this is not something I've been accustomed to at this level. My record in League One's been very, very good. But I've just got to regroup and uh, make sure everyone's focused and, you know, build for next season. Thank you very much. Leadership been the big thing, Darren, in this run, no, run that sort of thing. have affected us too much. I think today was another example that shouldn't have affected us. I sensed it in the, in the dressing room at halftime and just said, look, you've got 40 minutes to, 45 minutes to win the game. And I think when you go 17 games without a win, it tells its own story. But, you know, it's, it's just been a, it's been a horrendous, horrendous outcome of the season, I have to say, for this club. The mentality will need to change massively next season, won't yeah, it? A lot, you know, there's certain things that need changing. Um, and I have to make sure they are changed. There's a lot of players who are... So they're going to be under contract, and yeah. it's going to be a, a big job. I would have, I would have thought this this summer. Yeah, to, I think there's only maybe two players out of contract, two or three. Yeah. So there's still a, a large amount of players that are uh, going to be in contract. So you're right. We have to. We'll have to uh, have discussions with them next Monday, the day after the Burton game, in the sense of what, what I want to do with it. Um, but the board have been really good. They've been very, very good, actually. And uh, we have to make sure we stick together on this one now. And uh, it's very, very difficult for, for, for my supporters to, to deal with it at the moment. But they have to keep believing and they've got the right man. You've obviously spoken about the plans that you, 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 you yeah, may have in place as a contingency. We haven't narrowed it down to actual uh, personnel because we couldn't. I mean, we can now. We can now. Problems with the mental fragility, Darren. How how do you rectify that? It's, it's, I'm not. I don't want to just keep mentioning about the mental thing. What I'm saying is, I think. Well, you've seen everyone's seen it. I think that we've been affected for too long in that 17 game stretch, and I think we small things that shouldn't affect us do affect us uh, individuals too easily. So, um, you know, I've got, we've got a big job, but uh, I'm, I'm confident that we can keep the ones I want to the, the, well, that's been made clear it'll be my decision who leaves and if I, I get the right ones in I'm confident that we can get out of the league straight away there was obviously a lot of emotion over yeah. there on the final whistle what, what's your message to them guys they've got to keep believing I, I, listen the, the, there's no one more devastated than me and they've been you know at this football club a lot longer than me and they're quite rightly critical and critical of me and of the players and, and of everyone but we need them at the moment. It's uh, it's going to be a tough game for them next Sunday. I appreciate that, but I'm convinced that you know, given time and getting the right recruitment in, we can get out of the league next year, and then hopefully that gathers the momentum that this football club needs because it's not it's been it's not at it for a long time now. Have you got a core here, Darren? You think, or do you think? Yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. There's no, and there would have been in League One. There's a, there's a core that I'm quite happy to keep. Uh, but as time goes on, sometimes your decisions become a lot easier, you know. But the the, the problem, well, not the problem, but you, you people like Tommy Rowe, you won't keep him now, and he's been he, again today outstanding. Uh, Gary McSheffrey, probably one I would have wanted to keep, might be a doubt now. And, and the ones that you've got lined up for League One, some very, very good League One players, um, we felt confident again, are now obviously not going to happen.